Hey guys, it's been a while, but uh, we're back in action. And today I'm gonna mess around with this log right here and we'll talk about it. So, right here is this piece of uh, driftwood. It washed up on uh, out of Lake Michigan or whatever. And uh, you see there's a big hole in here. Let me see, no, you can't see. Let's get a better view. All right, now you can see. Anyway, there's this big hole here. That must have been where there was a, a rod into it. Uh, it's, it's been tattered and dragged, and there's some stones from me rolling it around. But uh, I don't know, it almost does have a green hue like it's a piece of tree did. But man, this thing's giant. I don't have a tape measure on me, but... It's all of a, a 12 by 12, so it would have been a big piece of timber. I don't know what it's from, but I think it'd be interesting to, to cut it up. There's a lot of checking and cracks in it. Oh, I think it's best to go the width way there, but let's see if we can roll it one more time here. I don't know, maybe it's part of an old ship or something. Who knows? But let's see what it has to offer inside. Oh, well, there's some checking going this way. So maybe... I don't know. Well, let's look at this other end down here. We got, we got a lot of rings. You can see how big this tree would have been. hand span so it's pretty big we'll get it up on the mill and start cutting some sections out of it and we'll see what what it becomes all right I got my safety glasses this time I'll wear them put them on here they're a little dirty but here we go this is going to have in here. Let me go get the broom. It smells like pine to me. Pretty knots. All right, let's get you a little closer look here. So here we go, there's our first cut. I guess I'll cut these uh, eight quarter or two inches thick. We'll get a few of them out of here. Here's the top waist piece. There's not much you can really do with this. All right, let's go see what our next cut has in store for us here. We'll make a couple, a couple cuts and then we'll look and see what we got here. So here is a 
this is the bottom of our first board right here. And that's the top of the next cut. So it's got some moisture in there. A little hue of green. So I don't know, maybe this was a treated board. I don't know. I think what I'll do is I'm gonna flip it, put this flat bearing surface down on my bunks. We'll cut from the other side, I think. Let's see. Nothing's really sticking out in here, making it seem like it would be old to me. Uh, the green still seems fairly large in it. Even though it's a big tree. I think I'm going to leave this one just the way it is, big and thick. I think that would make a pretty cool shell. Might have this straight line across the back here or something. One of these sides. Pick a side. Or prop it up so it just skims across. But This side held a little bit more moisture in it. So let's take a look at some of these slabs. So, here's the big thick one. I think it's about four inches thick. Let's flip it. This side has a lot of color variation in it here. You got the red, the yellow. It's almost like a like a green, like a tr treated green. There's the big one. Slide that over. I get the 
next slab here. This was the next one that was cut off. Nothing too impressive here. Side's a little wet from cutting. But it's got that real bright tritone in there. All right, well, nothing too exciting. I thought there'd be a lot more to see inside this log, but you just never know. I didn't have the highest hopes, but I've never also never cut a piece of driftwood or something that washed up on a beach somewhere. So now I have. I used uh, an older blade. I didn't want to mess up with hitting the gravel and sand that's all in this. I wouldn't want to use a new blade if that's what you're uh, planning on doing, but uh, I think I might have got some neat shelves out of this deal. Or uh, it could also be a really neat, uh, like, standalone shelf instead of on a wall shelf. I might have to trim some flats in there, but we'll see. We'll put it on the, the drying pile here and, and uh, get to it maybe next spring or post it online. We'll see. All right, well, we'll catch you next week. And uh, I plan on making some more videos, so see you next time.